Dag Vitsack, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Matthew van der Putten. I'm a time-lapse photographer living in London, and today you are learning how to create a time-lapse video using Adobe Premiere Pro. Usually I use After Effects, but a lot of people aren't familiar with that, so let's use Premiere Pro for a change. Now, if you don't know how to make a time-lapse, download my free ebook down below. Let's begin. And by the way, a quick shout out to Dale Roberts for pointing this out to me. Open up Premiere Pro, select Import from your menu, navigate to your image sequence, Make sure that it is sequentially numbered, as you can see, one, two, three, blah, blah, blah. And make sure that this image sequence box is ticked. Hit import, and this imports it as a video file. This is better than the previous workflow that I talked about in this video here. See, constantly learning, constantly improving, so good. Right click here in your project window, new sequence from clip, and what this makes is a new sequence with the aspect ratio and the resolution, etc., of the clip that you just imported. And boom, there you have it. Now you can add some subtle color grading using the Lumetri color panel. For example, you can do a subtle edit of the vibrance and the saturation, and just make sure that it looks, you know, that it looks nice to share online. You can maybe up the contrast a bit as well. So I think that looks pretty all right. Now you can go File, Export, Media, and now you can export using the source resolution and an Apple ProRes 422HQ codec, for example, which would be my preference. That is a beautiful clip. I cannot wait to share that online. One of the shortest tutorials I've ever made. Thank you, Dale, for the tip. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about time lapse, I've got two free ebooks. One is about time lapse photography, one is about hyperlapse photography. Find them down below. If you have any video requests, please let me know as well. If you're not subscribed, well, that sounds like a you problem, something you can fix by hitting the subscribe button. And that is all for today. May the clouds forever be in your favor. Bye.